At the beginning of Cyberpunk 2077, the Ripper Doc Victor Vector provides V with valuable cyberware upgrades on the promise that you'll pay him back. But what happens if you pay Victor up front the first time you meet him in the game? In this video, we're going to explore some rare dialogue options where V pays Victor back in Cyberpunk 2077. What's up everyone, Big Dan here. I make videos about RPGs and gaming commentary. So if you enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to Big Dan Gaming. Without further ado, let's dive right in. So the first thing we need to do is raise 21,000 eddies to pay Victor up front. In early game Watson, there isn't much to do aside from a handful of gigs and NCPD scanner operations, so we'll focus our energies there. <laughs> After about two hours of grinding, I finally stacked enough paper, so let's go chat with Victor and pay him for our upgrades. Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. I think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea. Hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Not yet, but I'm good for the Eddies anyway. I gotta invest in not fucking up this gig. Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Seriously, bro? I just gave you 21,000 Eddies and not even a thank you? It's a little disappointing, but at least we heard some different lines from V. Now let's see what happens if we come back to pay Victor later on in the game. Finally scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Hold on to him just in case. You need him more than me. Not taking him all the way to my grave, Vic. Here. And thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing an any. That's what friends are for. Was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Now it's not actually required to pay Victor back, and if you want to be a complete jag, you can just leave him hanging. If you do this, you won't have access to his Ripper Dock services, but you can go to any of the other Ripper Docks in Night City for all your cyberware upgrade needs instead. Still, I generally prefer to pay Victor back because he's a real homie. So there you have it. What happens if you pay Victor back in Cyberpunk 2077? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more RPG videos and reviews. Big shout out to all the channel members for supporting my content. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.